Welcome back to the south of France. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, I apologize. No, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know that I'm quite keen on the um, pan bagnats. Now, pan bagnat is this famous Nice sandwich, which is essentially a salad niçoise in a bread roll. So, imagine my excitement when today I discovered that the world Pan Banyat Championship is taking place in Nice. Yep, and you know what? I'm gonna take you there. The world champs. So we think this event is in a, is it a restaurant or a cafe? A cafe, I think. A cafe called Buttagina. Buttagina, Buttagina. Buttagina, Buttagina. That sounds a bit Italian though, doesn't it? Buttagina. Buttagina. Maybe it's a bit Italian French. Maybe it's one of those sort of nice old town combos. Anyway, we know where it is. It's down these steps into the old town. Oh, listen, there's music. Do you think that's... Oh, I can see balloons. Can you hear the music? Do you think that's for the world champs? I hope so. Wow. This is like the World Cup of Pambanyats. This is like the Olympics of tuna. This is like the uh, Eurovision Song Contest for fish sandwiches. A scrum to get to the Pambanyat. The stand is up here. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good, Pambanyat. So, as you can see, the competitors are taking this very seriously. As far as I know, I think there are 10 different competitors who are now preparing their pan bagnat. Uh, one of the keys to pan bagnat, you'll know if you've watched my other videos on pan bagnat, is the bread. The bread's got to be great. Then you need really good olive oil. You need great tuna. You need olives. You need radishes. But it'll be interesting to see what these guys are using. Because these obviously are the kings of the coup de monde of pan bagnat. I wonder who's going to win. Stick around and see. fun since the plague I mean since the plague started I don't mean I mean the plague was fun definitely wasn't fun Sandwich, which one? There's 
so I think we're approaching the moment of truth. We've had the national anthems, and I've seen people. I think they're the panelists, you know, the, the jury, judges, the jury, like like on like on uh, Strictly, mm. Strictly Pan Banyard. That hey, that could be a new format. If anybody out there, British TV is watching this. Uh, I had this idea first. Well, me and Alan Partridge, you know. Well, the creators are getting very near to uh, being ready to be judged, I think. Quite a lot of Finnish pan banyats on the scene. I think these are the judges' uh, lanyards. They're, they're being constructed, ready for the competition. It's leading us into the old town, and maybe there's some special sampling point. superior knowledge of, uh, of the language Francais, what, what are the categories they're being judged on? They are being judged on presentation of the Pambagna, yeah. taste of the Pambagna, of course. That's a good idea. Uh, respect of the original recipe for the Pambagna. Ooh, I didn't know there was an original recipe. And... I believe they're being judged on how well they're cutting it in half. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, this guy's not doing so well with his chopping. I think it's because his bread's a bit, it's a bit high. But you know, I'm no expert. What do you think this competition is going to take to judge Mr. Boo? Well, I believe there are 10 competitors. We're on the first one and I would say we're about 15, 20 minutes in and they haven't actually tasted it yet. They're still cutting it up. So that was the first uh, participant judge. It must be very difficult to make a decision on the first one when you've... It's a bit like being at Crufts and you've only seen one poodle and there's, you know, there's at least another nine to come. so long I'm absolutely starving so I just went back to the shop which is staging the world championship of Pambanyat asked for a Pambanyat and they said they've sold out
nationalist, he's put them in very Provencal little sort of dainty boxes. I don't think we're going to expect innovation here. I think he's going for the traditionalist boat. are being collected and someone is going to tally them and we're going to discover who is the world champion of Pan Banya 2021 here in Nice Old Town. moments away from the decision. The tension is palpable. How does it feel to be world champion? Je me 
sont fiers, hein, je me sens honorée. Je repense à Mme Graglia qui m'a transmis sa recette. Je suis très fière pour elle, pour la Capelina d'Or, pour Nice. Vive les traditions et euh, préservons la, le patrimoine niçois, c'est important. Oui. Faisons travailler les, les locaux. Oui, oui. Félicitations. Merci beaucoup, ça me touche beaucoup. Merci. So there you have it, Framboise is crowned world champion. But you know, the interesting thing about Framboise and her recipe for pan bagnat is she believes it should be shared. And so here it is for you. She says that the key is to first rub garlic around the bread, then sprinkle a little bit of olive oil, not too much, then a layer of tomato, then a layer of green pepper, She then adds the uh, radishes, the tuna, the egg, and a pichelin olive with a stone. And then the anchovies, and then the basil, and then in between the ingredients, more olive oil. It's simple when you know how, and Framboise knows how. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, please give me a thumbs up, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference and it'll cost you nothing. See you on the next one. Well done, Framboise. Queen of Pan Banyat.